the feeling of performing is unlike any other feeling I can describe, especially when you get a, a, a large reactive crowd. Um, there are nights where if we have, a, if we have a, a good crowd at a show and it's a stacked bill and the other bands are kicking ass, like getting up on stage and seeing people connect with your music is a feeling that I have never gotten from anything else. Um, and there's times where it almost like goes so fast that it's just like a blip and you don't really realize like how impactful it was until the next day or a couple days later when you're thinking back on it and you're like, God damn, like that was awesome. Generals gathered in their masses, just like witches at Black Masses. Like, it, it's just an adrenaline rush, and there's so much emotion that goes into what we do that while you're doing it, I'm not thinking about it. It's not until afterwards where I'm like, holy crap, like, a day, two days after a show, I'm still exhausted because getting up there and it's just this release of all this pent up energy and stresses from like everyday life, and that is my chance to get it out. I was sitting with the fuck is up. up I was at home over winter break and he's like hey I was at work and I was just browsing Craigslist ads for drummers in Iowa and I found this one that you should try for and I was like uh, I don't know man like should I like I haven't you know really been like practicing anything like that I just been kind of having fun doing my thing like just doing school and he's like just go for it it'll give you something to do so sent him a message, and then I had like a week, like a week left before I came back um, from break to Iowa, and they were like, yeah, just learn a couple songs, and you know, come down, we'll have you come over and play them, and we'll see from there, and I learned literally every song on Spotify that they had, and then went in and played them all, and that was that. I, uh, I got into guitar because of a lot of stress factors in my life that I really didn't know how to deal with, and it was kind of an outlet for me. I decided I was just like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just learn how to do everything that I can right now, and uh, here we are. <laughs> Everybody give it up for Joe on lead guitar! I don't feel like I'm totally comfortable on guitar like I would be on drums, but like, it, it's one of those things where like every, every day I'm learning something new. And it's kind of fun. Back at it again. Take this on the chin. Cause there's no coming back from original. I feel like we have a lot of potential. I feel like, especially, I mean, even just from 
me me joining the band from the time me joining the band and like that year with all the shutdowns and then once we started playing shows I feel like with every show we play we just gain more and more traction and we're always down to go play and you know even if it's in front of five people or a hundred people we want to put on a show and have a good time so and I, and I think that the people that come and see us um, can feel that and, re and really appreciate that and so um, I feel like this over the course of this past year, year and a half, we've really gained like a following in this in this area, you know, Iowa City, and it's it's really cool to see like people come out to our shows, um, like our, our local shows at Wildwood and stuff like that. Where I mean, we're, we have this big group of people um, that come to see us, and like I mean, it's, I mean, sometimes we even have like a bigger crowd than some like the national like touring acts that we that we open for and that's that's a pretty amazing feeling. This is the first band that I've ever been in that has played any shows that were not, you know, local within 15 20 minutes of of home. Uh, I've, I've never really traveled with a band. I still haven't been on any major tours or anything with that. We're we're hoping, you know, soon maybe this summer you know, we got we got some big shows coming up but um, yeah playing outside of town and traveling is is really neat uh, playing you know other cities where completely new people are gonna see you and like I don't know anybody in that town you know but people still come up and they know who we are and they want to talk to you uh, they really enjoy the show enjoy the music it's just a it's a really cool kind of eye-opening experience you know you you know you you meet a variety of people. You go to you know the places and venues that you never would have even known about before, uh, and uh, you know it's it's kind of neat playing not just the same bar with the same crowd every single time. You know I mean that that definitely is fun too and has its its merits. Um, but I like playing new places that I've never been to uh -oh. before, and some of the unique places that we've seen have been just really cool. And I've really met some interesting people. Hey, one more time. Let's hear it for Fine By Me. So the first time we played with those guys uh, was at Gabe's a few months ago. And they were like, hey, we're playing the show at Gabe's. If you guys want to play, I'm like, yeah, man, sure, whatever. So we get up there and play, and there's like 20 people there. We're like, this is cool, like, whatever. Any excuse to play is a good excuse, right? <clears throat> so we get done, and we're like, all right, guys, go have fun. Like, we'll, we're going to stay and watch you. And they're like, all right, cool. <laughs> and they get up there, and 150 fucking people walk into the bar. And I was like, oh, shit. We're going to have to play with these guys more often. Iowa City's <laughs> diverse. Uh, we, we've developed a lot of relationships with different bands in town, bands in the area, be it Cedar Rapids, Davenport, uh, Waterloo, places like that, Des Moines. Um, you know, we, we've developed relationships, relationships with bands that, you know, we we can easily play with. You know, when, when we play a show, like, it, it's one of those things where, like, okay, well, we, do we want to put us with, like, a funk, psychedelic, you know, trio and, you know, a pop punk band? Not really. But like, you know, we we've we've developed relationships with all these different bands in our realm, I guess is the best way to put it, that we have we have a ton of relationships with, with the with these other bands, not just in Iowa City, but all over the place. You know, it's 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 not really just a music community that's central centralized to Iowa City. It's eastern Iowa as a whole. Eastern Iowa, Western Illinois, like, it, it's, it's a lot bigger than I think people realize. Starting out as a new band, like, you really don't have another option other than to be independent. Like, you have to build your own following you have to build everything yourself um and so far like that's worked really well for us um i know like when a lot of bands and people i know that have been in bands start getting 
a lot of division between them is when you get people outside of the band controlling things and telling you what to do with your music or how you should brand yourself or your logo or how you should be on Facebook and social media and all that. And like being 100% independent gives us ultimate control. Like, and everything we do as a band is, is a vote, right? So if the band decides that we aren't gonna do something, then we're not gonna do it. And we don't have to listen to anybody else's opinion. And that gives us ultimate control over what we want to be and what we wanna do. So that comes from everything to like if we, we just recorded uh, like four songs, like we decided which order to put those songs out in. That was a conversation that happened with me and the other guys in the band and we didn't have to take anybody else's opinion. Like we decided what that is. Um, and that's nice because we don't have to pay somebody else or be involved with anybody else that's going to influence how we make our decisions. Keep going Go, back. Go stand in front of that one. Snow pile? Bonfire. No, that, that, I pointed to that earlier. You said, what if we take it out here? We get no, that said. Um, now, there are drawbacks to that, right? Like um, getting in touch with new markets of people that we don't have an in for. Like that's definitely a drawback of not having um, a manager or a label or anything like that. But we also reap like the total reward. So if we get paid for a show, that goes directly back to the band. Um, that isn't something that... We have to divide between ourselves with a manager and a booking agency and all that. Like, if we put on a show, like, we, we keep all of that. So from a monetary standpoint, that's how we make the most. But that, for us, I think is, like, the least important thing is really, like, it comes down to money. Like, at the end of the day, the reason we love being DIY is we get to book shows with whoever we want, wherever we want, whenever we want, and it's completely up to us to do. And we just like to have that, that kind of freedom and that control. Um, and we really don't want somebody telling us, like, we can't play this show because X, Y, Z. Um, we're friends with lots of other bands that have management and have labels that do that. And they've been offered, like, the, these bands get offered really good shows. And if their management says, well, no, you guys aren't playing that show, like, they don't get to, you know. Um, and we like to play where we can, when we can. And the shows, we get to pick and choose what we want to do. And that comes from the band. And, like... Really what it comes down to is, is we, get to, we get to decide what we want to do and nobody else gets to tell us no. <laughs> okay, cool. That was fun. All right, well. Cool. <laughs> Sweet. Great photo shoot. Yeah, we'll do this again sometime. <laughs> Probably in like an hour. In about six months. I crawl up inside for protection. I'm told what to do and I don't know. At this point, like the goal has already happened. Like the original goal was just to like get on stage and play, and like that happened. And then it was like do a radio song, but like then that happened too. And now it's like you know Rock Fest is coming up, and that's gonna be like another thing that I had really wanted to do. And now I don't know. I think the next thing for me is like I really want to go on a tour. It'd be really cool to, like, do this as a way to make money instead of just, like, doing it and, like, just kind of whenever we can. I think that's kind of the general consensus is that, you know, that's the next step is let's get on a tour and go around the country. I first picked up guitar listening to More Than a Feeling by Boston. Uh, I wanted that you know I wanted to be on stage all around the world uh, across the country just just doing that for a living um, you know that would be awesome that would be probably my ultimate goal and dream for that and I'm hoping uh, you know we can get our momentum and uh, attention from people and get you know more of a following so we can get attention from some of the, the bigger national acts and do some big tours and some shows I mean I'd love to do that you know just be on the road and really feel what that experience is like on that scale is, is what I would love to do. We're, we're big regionally. You know, if, if we were to even be at the level where we could 
tour nationally to small venues, like, that would be amazing. Um, you know, I, I, I have no, no uh, thought that, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think we're going to fail. I think we're going to keep going. We keep, we're we're going to keep going as strong as we've been going. Um, but, I, you know, I, I, as much as I'd like to be the next, you know, Disturbed or Avenged Sevenfold or Trivium, you know, it's more realistic to think that we're going to be, you know, a, a band that tours small venues and then maybe we'll get a big break, you know. Maybe our big break comes this year. Who knows? Uh, you know. But I think we're, we're still going to be doing this. There's no doubt about that. I look around we don't even have to profit you know what I mean like if I can cover my bills and survive on doing this forever like that's my ultimate goal and I really feel like right now is kind of the spot where it's going to be a make or break moment um, for us we've played the local shows we've played regional shows we've gotten in touch with a lot of really good people who want to help us out Right now we're at this weird level where we're like right there. And now we have to wait for that to happen. And it's like, it's, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We're gonna break or we're gonna really, like we've got some new songs coming out that we're really excited for. And like, we really hope one of them just like clicks and like attaches to people and, and it'll take off. And it, it really feels at this point that it's going to be a make or break moment for us. And I really hope that it is, and I really hope that after we can really solidify ourselves as, as an up-and-coming act that people like and people travel to go see and tour and, and playing shows for people that we've never met before. Um, I really think we've got a good chance to do that. Thank you.